Hello, my name is Dr. Shmeet Das. I am the owner and founder of the Brain and Spine Neurosurgical Institute. Today I'd like to talk about the surgery that you've been recommended. And there are other videos to go into the exact details of your surgery. It's critically important that you understand what we're doing it, why we're doing it, and most importantly, what should be your expectations of the outcome of surgery. And so those questions have to be asked with us and hopefully at the end of your discussion, you'll have a good understanding of what to expect. We only have basically three goals and all of them are surrounding communication. One, is that you have a great understanding of your surgery. Two, is that your doctors and all doctors associated with your care have an understanding of what is going to happen. And we will send out letters telling them of what our plan is. And three, is that you go through all the steps that are necessary to ensure that the surgery is done as safely as we can do it. So as you know, the first thing is, is we're going to have a surgical discussion. There are pamphlets talking about our surgery. There are videos talking about our surgery. And we urge you to look at both of them. And all of them are at our website, spinetogether.com. After you have an understanding of the surgery, then we want to test to see if you are fit for surgery. And this is called preoperative testing. Preoperative testing consists of a bunch of different lab tests, a bunch of different uh, EKG to look at your heart, and a chest x-ray to look at your lungs. We're also going to be swabbing your nose and other things to see if you have any bacterias that commonly reside there. The preoperative testing is probably one of the most important aspects of the surgical uh, procedures that really ensure safety. What are other things to consider prior to surgery? You have to have a very complete list of all the medications that you're on, and we need to review all those medications. The medications that we care the most about are those medications that might affect your blood pressure, your glucose if you're diabetic, or any type of bleeding disorders. There are many type of drugs that thin the blood but there's other types of medications, such as anti-inflammatories, ibuprofen, Motrin, et cetera, that we need to know about, and we will guide you on whether or not those should be taken prior to surgery. In most cases, if you're undergoing fusion surgery, you will not or should not be taking those medications. Of course, if you are undergoing fusion surgery, we will also have a long discussion concerning the negative effects of smoking on your spine. Let's talk about the next step. And the next step is coming closer to the days, of days before surgery. In most cases, you will get either a call from the hospital or in many cases, you will have an educational visit to the hospital at which time they will talk about precautions. <clears throat> they will also be going over um, all the medications that you should be taking the night before and potentially the morning of surgery. It's very important that you have this discussion with the hospital so that you are taking the correct meds. Now the morning of surgery, or the night before surgery I should say, is as is standard protocol, you will not have anything to eat or drink after midnight with an exception of potentially some of the medications that you normally take with a small sip of water.
often when we are scheduling surgery, patients will always ask, what time is my surgery? What time is my surgery? Unfortunately, due to the schedule of the hospital and our surgical schedule, we do not have an exact time of surgery until one day prior to the surgery. I know this can potentially make things difficult in terms of rides and family members and friends, but unfortunately there's no real solution to it since we are often changing the schedule based upon the medical condition of the patient. So please be patient with that, but please uh, understand that we will always call you the day or at the very most two days prior in the case of a weekend to the surgery to give you the exact times. When you arrive to the hospital, you should also be arriving, of course, with things to spend the night. In all cases, even in those cases where we say you might go home, just in case um, for safety reasons you do stay overnight. But again, it's always useful to have a complete list of all the medications that you are uh, currently taking and all the allergies that you have so that when we bring you into the hospital, we ensure that you receive all of the meds that you normally take. If there are any films of any sort that we asked you to bring, of course you'll need to bring that. In many cases, you may be wearing a brace. This brace would have been fitted for you prior to the surgery. It is critical that you bring this brace to the hospital as well. I encourage you to bring comfortable clothes that you can wear after surgery and clothes that are easy to remove, such as sweats or t-shirts or anything of, of, of this nature.